Alright, I'm going to get a little bit more detailed about the game phases. So at the very beginning of the game, before you play, you needed to say what type of game we're playing. Then you need to say, okay, I'm going first, and then you need to say, I'm going to draw seven cards. You draw your seven cards, the game begins. You draw one card, and you say, okay, I've got these cards, that's awesome. The seven are in your hand, you look at them, and then you say, okay, start figuring stuff out, and then you're drawing that one card to help whatever you need. If you needed more resources or if you've got enough resources you need another guy or a tactics card or whatever. Next phase is harvest phase. So phase two, harvest phase. Putting it down, making a supply line. Let's just say you've got ten total resources from your really really good draw on your resource pile. In your supply line you've got these ten. Your next phase, phase three, is the kingdom phase. Now this is strategy and kingdom cards. Basically, let's just say I lucked out and I got some really cheap ones. I got a free strategy card. Put that down. Bam, right there. Doesn't do anything for me now, but I'm putting it down. Then I've got another kingdom card I'm going to put down as well. Let's say that costs two. So I have eight resources left. Okay, kingdom phase. I can't do anything with that kingdom card now, but I can use it later. So my kingdom phase is done. Then I'm going to move into my army phase. Your army is basically all your people. All your people that showed up to do something. Right now they're in your hand, you know. Uh, game mechanics that are in your hand would mean like they're running down the trail. You know, they get there, they're exhausted. Uh, General doesn't have any pull or summoning sickness, uh, so he can get there and start fighting immediately. But most of the soldiers do. They get there and they're like, oh, oh, it's a long run. So they get there and they have to go to the war camp. So let's just say I have enough resources from my pull of 10 at the very beginning, my draw of 10 at the very beginning, and I've already played two resources um, and I have eight left to play. Let's see, I've got a, a general that costs four and a soldier that costs four. So I'm going to put them both in the war camp. Okay, they're both there. I've been, I was able to play four cards from my basic draw pile at the very beginning and I was able to go ahead and put the other four in my supply line. So I have no hand right now. But that's awesome because I know the game is already beginning and I'm off to a great start because I've got a general and a soldier and a strategy card and a kingdom card already right there. don't have any tactics cards yet, but that's okay, they'll come later. So, then I move into phase five, the attack phase. My opponent is fresh off the boat or just coming up the trail, and I'm going to kind of just, you know, show up and hurt him right now. I can uh, go ahead and do that. No, I can't, because you can't attack on phase one. Sorry, turn one. This is the only turn in the entire game that you can't do that. Because if you attack his war camp, there's no tents set up. There's no cook making the stew for the army. There's nobody there yet. So you've got to wait, and I know it hurts, but you've got to wait for him to show up to the battle. Okay, so I'm going to resolve. Boom, I'm done. Nothing else needs to happen, and I'm done. His turn comes around. He gets, let's just say, randomly, nothing. He can't do anything. He's got resources, and that's it. He's like, oh, no. So then my turn comes around, I draw my one card, it's a tactics card, and it says uh, retreat any general in play that's dying. Okay, I'm going to use my general now to attack. I could use my general or my soldier, because the soldier has now rested one turn to get there, after he got there. So I can choose to attack with either of them. Okay, let's just say my tactics card says band together a soldier and a general. So these two guys with an attack of now strength of 14, defense of 18 or whatever, they're going to attack. Since we're playing a quick game, he's only got three cultural health points to lose before he's gone. So, does he lose 14? Does he lose 7? No, he loses one cultural health. He sits there, he takes the attack. Alright, my general, my soldier, you know, they're riding tall, they come back, they're all happy. He's now down 66% of his entire life. And uh, that's a good one turn two turns for me. His next turn, he's got, you know, Earthquake or whatever that destroys everybody. And he just plays that and my two guys are gone. He's still at two cultural health, I'm at three cultural health, and then my turn begins again. So, basically, it's an easy phase as long as you get those steps down. I basically put my, my, my turn phase chart at the side next to my cultural health. I don't have to, but I want to because I want to make sure I'm doing things right. We had to make these phases because during some of the cards, the way they were played is you could recycle them. They would come back to life and recycle, and I'm like, well, wait a minute. 
Game mechanics, this is a sound philosophy, but in real life, also, I want to go ahead and make sure that this can't happen. <clears throat> so, one of the actual drawbacks that I had with this game is that making sure that it also worked in real life. There you go.